So today, I have an update video here on cordless caulk guns. You've seen the previous episode where I tested the majority of the ones on the market. You've seen that the Rigid and this Dynamix failed. Additionally, for the first time, we are gonna test the Makita 18 volt, see how it does compared to those others. Well, some of you can probably tell it's still in pieces. You know, I contacted the company. They said, oh, you gotta email to the support center with photos. So I tore it apart, took the damaged photos, send it over, nothing. Again, contact them, nothing. So at least my experience, you spend the $130 on this, be prepared if it breaks, well, you're out $130. I clearly am. So basically what happened here is no overload protection. When we did max force, broke the housing. It's hard to see it down in there, but it did break portion of the gear off on the drive. Basically useless now. Rigid, a little bit different. Plunger arm fed all the way in. The stop switch did not trigger. And internally, the drive gear box and or motor is bound and you cannot release it. If I asked support, they said, take it to your local Home Depot. They'll send it off and get it repaired if possible. They sent it off. It came back a month later, still not repaired, recontacted rigid, and they ended up just sending me out a complete new unit. So I've never had to take a rigid tool to my Home Depot and have them ship it off for repair. Let me know in the comments below if you've experienced that. It just seemed kind of weird to me. So just like before, I'm gonna go ahead and run the test on this again. We'll take a quick look at the specs on the Makita XG C01, main Japan, overload protection. If you do overload the unit, the LED on top here will light up. Lockable trigger, a variable speed trigger with max speed adjustment here on top, running all the way up to five. Pressure on the tube is automatically released once you let go of the trigger. Swivel tube holder, LED light, belt clip location here on either side, or of course for a strap. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tube in the same spot, just like the previous video. Rigid didn't do so good if you're looking for the fastest, but the Makita 18 volt right up there with the 12 volt, which is expected with the highest dispense speed. So in a previous video, I made this test rig here so that we could get the max force produced by the caulk guns and compare them. Really straightforward, hydraulic cylinder with a one inch diameter, which makes the calculation easy. We know the area, we know the pressure, that way we can get the four. Perfectly sits right there in the caulk tube. Go ahead here and do this on high and low. It has a two amp hour regular battery installed. After running the calculation, the rigid pretty close to what they're claiming. Not bad for the price tag. Now the Makita, on the other hand, both 12 and 18 volt are right there, but well under what they claim. Makita and rigid were tested with two and four amp hour batteries, but there wasn't any performance gain. Makita 18, Pretty much the same performance as the 12 volt. Overall build quality is nice. And one thing to mention is made in Japan. If you're running the platform, I don't think it's a bad option. I do like that it has that auto release. I think the Rigid is pretty good for the price of around $100 for the tool. 
One thing I still don't really care for the release. When there was pressure on the rod here, I ended up having to unscrew the tube to take that pressure off so that I could pull the rod back. But other than that, it seems pretty well built. The best budget caulk gun I still believe is the Ryobi. Hopefully next month we see the next generation of this. From the photos, it looks like it's pretty similar to this rigid, which would make sense because TTI is manufacturing this for rigid. It wouldn't take much to do a little redesign for Ryobi. If you want the highest performance, well, that's gonna be the M18. Yes, it demands a high price, but the performance is right up there. If you're looking for more information on the M18, M12, DeWalt, Cobalt, Ryobi, I'll leave the link below to the previous video where I tested those. Hopefully you found this video useful. I'll catch you on the next one.